everyone, Ray here, and it's far too early for me to be recording this, but let's give it a shot. So, another commentary, and this isn't really a process commentary because it really doesn't have a process. If I would have to name a process, then it would be uh, drawing it, scanning it, and then cleaning that scan to at the screen tones so yeah not much of a process here but i do want to do i do want to make some uh comments about it i've been drawing ray a lot lately <laughs> and i don't mind it i really love it i feel like it's helping me develop uh, his story and ray's story which is my character myself it's it's a little complicated but i won't go into that right now Mm, but yeah, uh, comments on this piece is that I was more experimenting more than anything because I said it's not much of a process. Uh, I use Evie's Paint X, I believe it's called. For you, for those of you who didn't know, uh, this is the first video you're watching. I don't know, maybe you haven't seen my past. Um speed paints but yeah i use evie's paint x because i draw on my phone um and it's a really great app and it's free best of all so after cleaning my scan i went on ahead and started looking for the green tones i needed for the screen tones i thought would look good on this and i I think I'm gonna have to make my own, look for some online, I don't know, some stock screen tones because they do have a great gallery, but sometimes I had to improvise, I had to use some screen tones and just go um, find a way to use them. And sometimes it was just better to just use the bucket and a gray color because yeah, the screen tones weren't gonna be all that effective or it was gonna take a lot of time because as you might see in this uh, speed paint it's placing the screen tone and then erasing everything around it so yeah the shadows on this were a killer were tough <laughs> and it was not a pleasant thing to do <laughs> but yeah I think I had I got the hang of it near the end it was a lot easier as I got near the ending I do hope that I didn't overdo with the screen tones with the effects and stuff please tell me if you think I overdid it or if you think this looks fine that would be great to know but yeah I guess I really want to keep working with this kind of style it's not a style I've been calling it a manga page because yeah, I mean, that's basically what it is. You read it from right to left. I guess I should have told that at the start of this. But yeah, read it from right to left, even though there's not much to read. <laughs> but yeah. I do plan on making more of these, uh, continuing with this page, actually. And I really hope you guys come back to watch them if you want to see the page as the pages as they come out you can go check my instagram and, the, and my twitter um, the links are always on the description in case you got you guys want to check them out but i guess maybe a little bit of context for the illustration would be good too so these are my two main characters for one of my stories for one of my stories, cats and bats. <clears throat> it's just, it's a, I don't know how to describe this. This is probably one of my first stories I ever wrote. Well, I'm still writing them, I'm still in the process, you know. I've been changing stuff and making sure things fit and trying not to leave many plot holes. But yeah, the story is basically about a um, vampire hunter that falls in love with a vampire because I started this story when there was the whole hype about Twilight so yeah it's I, I would say it's heavily influenced by that my, uh, the main character uh, well my character Ray who you probably saw on my last speed paint actually started out as a Pokemon trainer 
And look at him now. He turned into a half vampire and fights the forces of evil with his crush, Ray, who really doesn't want to go out with him. But she holds in there. She tries to not crush for him too hard. But yeah, this is this story is basically a romance, drama, kind of horror, I guess, fantasy um, kind of story. And yeah, I've been working a lot with it lately. I have too many stories and I just can't set my time on one. Like I might be working on one story a week and then the next I'm working on another. So I feel like I'm not making much progress, but this page feels like a lot of progress to me. It feels, it might not even stay canon to the whole thing, but it it's really helped me to just push myself forward to continue it, continue with the story. So yeah, basically what's happening in this page is of course a uh, cute vampire ray goes and visits his crush without any warning so it's a hot day in summer and she's just wearing the most comfortable clothes she has and guys or girls really don't do this to you, your crush just just call them just give them a call and say hey i'm gonna be over because you never know if you're gonna find them in pjs or something and your crush is definitely not gonna like that, especially if they're kind of trying to avoid feeling things. Um, so yeah, uh, Hunter Ray. I'm sorry, their names are very similar. That I did that on purpose. So I'm gonna call her Rachel Rachelu. I am not saying that in English. Her name is her name. Her full name is Rachelu. Okay, so um. She is very embarrassed that he popped out and she's dressed like this because, I mean, who wouldn't be embarrassed? Uh, so, yeah, that's basically the context for this page. And I really hope that you all look forward to the next one because the next I already have the next page um, sketched out. I need to scan it so I can start working on the screen tone. And it's got me really excited. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the next part. I really hope you guys enjoyed this part. But I hope that it will make you want to watch the next one. Because it's got me really excited. The fact that I'm actually planning this story again. And just looking at stuff that I need to change. That I need to rewrite. Or maybe even character development and such. It's got me really excited. I'm not sure I can actually write it or draw it in one go. I I have terrible scheduling abilities. <laughs> I'm not very organized when it comes to this kind of stuff. But I feel like I'm I feel like I'm making some prog progress. So that was it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I co I hope you guys look forward to the next one. This was Ray from Mystic Nova and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye!